Hi, welcome back to the book reading. Sorry the video had to stop. It was because I was nearly on the YouTube video time limit. So back to the book. Now, Steve. Henry was leaving him an old pair of holy socks. <laughs> but Steve didn't have to know that, did he? he for all Henry knew, Steve loved holy socks. <laughs> Dear Steve, you know your blue racing bike with silver trim? Well, well, when you're dead, it won't be any use to you. So please leave it to me and your girl, your favourite cousin, Henry. <laughs> this is going to be really funny. <laughs> P.S. By the way, no need to wait till you're dead. You can give it to me now. <laughs> right, mum and dad. <laughs> when they were in the old people's home, they'd hardly need a thing. <laughs> a rocking chair and a blanket each would do fine for them. Now, so, would dad, so, how would dad's new successor look in his bedroom? And where he, and where could he put mum's clock radio? <laughs> Henry he had always liked this Chiming clock and their mantelpiece and a picture of the blackbird. <laughs> Better go and check to see where he could put them. Henry went into Mum and Dad's room and grabbed an armload of stuff. <laughs> he grabbed an armload of stuff. He staggered back to his bedroom and dumped everything on the floor. Then went back for a set for a second helping. Something was staggering under his heavy burden. Lord Henry swayed down the hall and crashed into Dad. <laughs> what are you doing? said Dad, staring. That's mine, and those are mine, <laughs> said Mum. What is going on? shrieked Mum Dad. <laughs> I was just checking how all this stuff will look in my room when you're in the old people's home, <laughs> said Lord Henry. I'm not there yet, <laughs> said Mum. Put everything back, said Dad. Horrid him scowled. <laughs> Here he was, just trying to think ahead and he gets told off. <laughs> well, just for that, I won't leave you any of my knights in my will, said Henry. <laughs> Honestly, some people are so selfish. 